Hi everyone, it's Jenny with Joey and Jenny's Little Yellow House. We're on YouTube and Instagram at Joey143Jenny and we're on Facebook at Joey and Jenny's Little Yellow House. Okay, here's the flip through of the Alaskan Junk Journal. This is mainly a journal full of writing space, so um, not a lot of ephemera in it, but there's a little bit, so let's just look through it. And it just has a simple seam binding closure that's tucked underneath here. And this is just some um, weave. I've got a little piece of paper there or something. A little piece of weave that was on a skirt. And then down here are a couple of little charms. And this this couple had gone on a cruise, so there's some little charms there. And then the cover is was actually a book on Alaska. So it was like that. So I just used it for the full the full cover. Okay. Um I did sew along the front and the back, just along the edge here. I thought about the top but I didn't want to mess any of that up. I did reinforce that on the front and the back with a little bit of washi tape, as you can see here. And uh, so, oops, I've got stuff everywhere. Um, I put a little bit of kind of some lace here because it's a cotton type of lace because the pages poked out just a little bit. And I thought, well, that'll help hide that. Okay, so in the front, we have an out-of-the-office vacation time card. Uh, then we have part of the book, the original book, uh, pages here with Alaska. Um, just some pages here you'll see throughout. The, it, they're sh kind of shiny. They look like magazine, but they're actually like um, travel guides or travel magazines. I sewed a couple of them together here. This one, I added some paper to it. It was just it was just the uh, table of contents here. And this would be a good place to maybe put some photos. Here's another page from there. And then on the back has part of the map. And then the flip side has map. And here's a ledger to write down the different, maybe a schedule or something that they had. Just some extra writing space. Here's a little um, flip card to write some ditties in and then I just uh, whenever you see this little thing I just uh, I used a stencil to put that down and here's some dyed paper and um, just a quick little a little card there to talk about whales if they want to and then this is out of the the travel guide which a little travel magazine not fitting quite right down in there. There we go. And then again here I did the uh, stencil. And these are just some old little dictionary. And I just kind of highlighted on this one is whale. And then on this one glacier. So it's kind of a fun way to use your, to use your dictionary. And then here um, an envelope that they can tuck different things in. Uh, this is an envelope that Joey and I got actually when we went to Alaska uh, in 2022. We got that at a at a flea market there, and I, I think I got four of them, so I thought I'll share one. And this came out of a travel guide, and it's fun. You can jot a message there. Okay. Uh, this came out of another travel guide or magazine um, when we were thinking about going when we well I take it back when we knew we were going to Alaska um, I had sent away for some Alaska travel guides to kind of get an idea and and some ideas for uh, journaling and so I had a lot left over and this was a really interesting one that told about different events that happened in Alaska and the dates so I sewed that together and put it in here uh, so just a, some more writing space. Here I just stamped the word memories. This came out of the original book. And then it was, uh, this is for uh, their 10th anniversary. So that's fun. And um, 
so just a, a quick little card there's nothing on it it's for them to journal and then here's some information about the ocean and then an, this came out of the travel guide which is neat because it's a kind of a heavy duty so it makes a nice pocket um, a really great picture of um, a native um, person there from the book uh, this has an old a um, map from Alaska from an atlas that I had. I was surprised I still had that. Um, and then here's a little dangle here that we, I think we did that while I was filming. Um, this is from the travel guide and I just made a little um, place to write some things and it has a little bit of information about native heritage there. So I thought that was neat. This is scrapbook paper that I had left over from when I made all the journals before. Um, just some extra writing space. Maybe they can write with, you know, different things they ate or where they ate and things like that. So I just, it was a great opportunity to use one of those paper clips. Uh, this I also got out of the travel guide. It's uh, Rules of the Road for Alaska. Um, a little bit more of that cotton lace put right in the middle and then I attached a little dangle there as well and here are the dog sleds it's fun that's out of the original book this is also out of the original book I just loved it it's the cover you know the cover page of the book 1966 Okay, and then this is that old, wonderful linen uh, envelope, and I just put some dogs on there, and then in here, um, just another another uh, place to journal. Um, I used part of a bingo card on that. Um, a guest check for them to, you know, maybe write down restaurants again or something. Some more writing space. This is a belly band with some writing space there. Okay. Uh, the other side of that bag. And then this is where I put those glacier, the different steps of the glacier falling into the ocean. And then this beautiful picture. Isn't that fun? So both of those are in there. I love the sound that the bag gives. Crunchy. Children playing. Love that. Just more writing paper. The other side of the map. Some more writing paper for their memories. Here's the other side of that that gives all the information. This is to put little keepsakes, and I put love notes. Love notes. It's also a pocket. Has that they can write about. Here's, um, I believe they took a train ride, so I put this is a really old train. Um, oh, I don't know, head count maybe. I, I guess you could say, um, either a head count or, yeah, it looks like, or a log of train or something. I don't know, but I put that in there and then here's some extra writing paper and another guest check. And then that's just a little fun ephemera. Okay. And then, is that pretty? And then that beautiful watercolor that we saw. Uh oh. <laughs> there we go. I was going to say, I think it was in there when I glued the. Glued that on there. And that's it. So I'll get that in the mail tomorrow, hopefully. And, um,. Maybe while Alaska is still fresh on their mind, they'll be able to to write about it. So, 
And if you if you make one of these and you haven't ever made one or you haven't used a junk journal before um, or somebody gives you one or you buy one or whatever, you know, you don't have to go in any order. You just, whatever, let's say you wanted to write about your flight. You just pick a page and you write about your flight. You don't necessarily have to go in a chronological order like you would a desk calendar type of a journal. So it's just whatever you want to make of it. So then we have all these fun little pokies coming out. Let's get them out. There it is. Okay, well, thanks, everybody, for helping me along the way. And um, let me know what you think. And if you have any travel plans or plans to make a travel journal, I'd love to hear about it. So uh, don't forget, we pray blessings over you. And you're so loved. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.